29 of the Maritime Hockey Podcast. It's been a while, but if you're new, my name's Jesse, and today we're going to be going over the Canadian National Women's Hockey Team winning the gold medal against the U.S. at the 2022 Beijing Winter Olympics. And man, has this Canadian women's team ever been so good to watch this year. So much talent on that team, especially for the young players they have too. Like some mentions, Sarah Fillier, um, Emma Monte, all those women. And they just been setting records and everything. As you look here, let's just look at something right here. The golden year it's been for women's sports in the Olympics this year. Of course, the 2020 Summer Olympics in Tokyo, you have the women's national soccer team winning gold. And then this year in the 2022 Beijing Winter Olympics, you have the Canadian women's hockey team winning gold. And just to show you how good this Canadian women's team is, they are insane. Literally, when I t- say setting records, breaking records, they done it all. You look at this. Speaking of Captain Clutch Marie Philippe Poulin, look at this. Going back to Vancouver 2010, Marie Philippe Poulin has scored seven of Canada's last ten goals in in Olympic women's gold medal finals. I've been saying this for a long time now. Marie Philippe Poulin is the next Haley Wickenizer of Canada. There is no doubt about it. She definitely is the next Haley Wickenizer of Canada. Captain Clutch. Captain Canada for sure. Oh yeah, and if you think that's not enough, oh yeah, how about this? Marie-Philippe Poulin is the only hockey player, female or male, to score in four Olympic gold medal games. Four Olympic gold medal games. Absolute unit she is. There's no doubt about it that she's the next Haley Wickenizer. I've been saying this for a long time. Captain Canada, she is just insane to watch. My God. And also this year at the Olympic tournament, Canada women's team set a record. Most goals in an Olympic tournament with 57 goals. 57 total goals in this Olympic tournament. And also, more records, new records. Sarah Nurse now has the most points with 18 and most assists with 13 in a single women's Olympics. Yeah. And now, we'll just go over Canada's run to the gold medal here. So, started off from the uh, preliminary round all the way up to the gold medal game. Just to show you how dominant this Canadian women's team is. So, obviously, their first game of the preliminary, they took on Switzerland. And they dominated Switzerland 12 to 1. But I mean, that's kind of no surprise there. No offense to Switzerland, but they're not the best at hockey, really. They usually can never compete with uh, teams like Canada or the US. So, t- but regardless, a 12 to 1 win there for Canada to kick off the preliminary. Oh, yeah, you don't think it gets better? Take a look at this. Against the good team, second game of the preliminary against a pretty good team, better team than Switzerland. Oh yeah, no problem for us. We beat Finland 11-1. to 1. 
eleven one. So you go from twelve one to eleven one against Finland, and then we play the Russian Olympic Committee. We beat them six to one, and then we go on to play the U.S. in our final game of the preliminary round. We beat them four to two. So 6-1 and 4-2, not big scores there, but regardless. Oh yeah, you think we're stopping the blowout scores there though? Uh, I would say if you said, yeah, we're stopping the blowout scores there. Well, you're incorrect. First game of the quarterfinals against the never powerhouse team. I was actually surprised about this. 11-0 win. In the quarterfinals against Sweden. Canada then moves on to the semifinals to play Switzerland yet again. And like I said in the preliminary game, Switzerland just unfortunately, they just can't compete with teams like Canada or the U.S. Canada beats Switzerland 10-3. to to move on to the gold medal game against the U.S. And then we end up beating the U.S. in a tight game, 3-2. And winning Olympic gold back from the U.S. Because U.S. were the defending champs uh, four years ago, which was like back in 2014. Because the Winter Olympics only happen every four years. But, yeah, just this Canadian team, you look at all the scores here. 10-3, 11-0, 4-2, 6-1, 11-1, 12-1, 6-1, 6-2, 6-3, 6-4, 6-5, 6-6, 6-7, 6-8, 6-9, 6-10, 6-11, 6-12, 6-13, 6-14, 6-15, 6-16, 6-17, 6-18, 6-19, 6-20, 
since I've been pretty behind on news, but I wanted to definitely get this out there. So, yeah, Canada women's team wins Beijing 2022 Olympic gold.